Hey guys, I'm Otto from Everything Amiibo. Let's check out all of the Amiibo announcements from E3 2017. Amiibo! First up, we learned about some details of the upcoming DLC for Breath of the Wild. The second DLC coming in holiday 2017 is called The Champion's Ballad. Along with this DLC, we'll be seeing four brand new Amiibo, one for each of the champions. Specifically, that's Daruk, Rivali, Mifa, and Urbosa. These are slated for holiday 2017 as well, presumably on the same date as that second DLC. Nintendo went all out this year with the Metroid announcements, confirming a Metroid Prime 4 in development for the Nintendo Switch with no release date in sight, and a 2D Metroid that's actually a remake of Metroid 2 Return of Samus called Metroid Samus Returns. This game will be released on the 3DS, on the 15th of September 2017, along with two brand new amiibo. There's one of Samus crouching down and the reduced height allows a lot more detail as in the model is a lot larger than the uh, Smash one and since the Smash one was made right at the start of amiibo production, this one's a lot cooler, a lot more detailed. However, the second one is what's turning heads. This is a Metroid amiibo, as in an actual Metroid, that's kind of burst out of its cage. Now, the special thing about this amiibo is that it's actually soft and squishy, probably like a mouse pad or something. I don't know. We got a little bit of a look at it, and it's on display uh, on the show floor at E3, but people aren't quite allowed to touch it yet, but you can watch this little replay forever if you want. These amiibo will be arriving alongside the 3DS game. Here come the first amiibo with any functionality actually mentioned. The Super Mario series is getting five new additions. Most importantly, three Mario Odyssey themed Bowser, Peach, and Mario skins, I guess, because I'd assume they function the same as the other ones in most games. These three amiibo will be released on October 27th alongside the Super Mario Odyssey game while the Koopa Trooper and Goomba will be released at a later date. When used in the upcoming Mario Odyssey game, these amiibo will provide some sort of gameplay assistance, and some will unlock costumes for Mario. We've already seen he can uh, buy certain costumes and hats from the shops in the game, so I'd imagine it'll be that kind of costume that it unlocks for him. Fire Emblem Warriors received a new trailer at this E3, but not really too much new information. It's coming to the Switch in autumn slash fall and the new 3DS later. But we did get an announcement of two brand new Amiibo figures, Krom and Tiki. They seem to be in the same series as Om and Celicia, so those two figures may also be compatible with the game, but we don't know yet. No functionality has been confirmed, and we can assume that these figures are coming out at the same time as the Switch game. Alright, that's all of the Amiibo news from Nintendo on day one of E3 2017. An impressive array of new figures, I must admit. Not much on functionality, but some really cool figures coming up. Just in case there are any announcements, make sure you check the comments below, where I'll leave a comment with any extra announcements on day two and three, etc. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like, and of course, subscribe to Everything Amiibo for more on Amiibo news and for more Nintendo toys and games. I'll see you guys later.